Welcome guys. In this video, we will be comparing and analyzing the recoil pattern for all the 556 assault rifles. First, let's look at the stats. There are 5 automatic 556 assault rifles and one burst mode rifle. All 6 weapons have the same base damage of almost 41 and the rate of fire is the same for all of them. Time to kill is basically how much time it takes to kill a player when all the bullets hit in a level 2 vest, so stats are almost the same for all 556 assault rifle, and now we will compare the recoil pattern of all 5 automatic assault rifles. The handling of all the weapons will be compared side by side at the end of the video, so let's get started with tests, and the first assault rifle to be tested is M416. We will be taking 5 recoil samples, first without attachments and then with attachments. Without any attachments, the weapon handles well, but has some decent vertical and horizontal recoil, which is really bad for long-range sprays. Now with the attachments, the attachments we are using are compensator and vertical grip with tactical stock, M416 is the only automatic assault rifle which will use tactical stock. Now comparing with attachments and without attachments side by side. If we zoom in a little bit, you can clearly see the vertical recoil is reduced by almost 25 to 30 percent, and 10 percent horizontal recoil is reduced due to the compensator. So the first five bullets recoil without attachments is almost equal to the first 10 bullets recoil with attachments. So with the right attachments, you can reduce the recoil and make it easier for you to control. Now to the SCAR L, according to PUBG PC stats, SCAR L has a lower rate of fire than the M416, and for that reason, it considered by many to be easier to control. But the PUBG Mobile has nerfed SCAR L's true power. Now it became worse assault rifle, which has the highest amount of horizontal recoil, which is really bad for spraying. So I compared the SCAR L recoil with two different grips, if you ever had to use SCAR L always go with angled grip because of the crazy amount of the horizontal recoil, which is really hard to control, I highly recommend to use angled grip for SCAR L, you can always predict the vertical recoil, but not the horizontal. But the handling of the weapon is really good in the beginning up to 5 bullets, and then the horizontal recoil will start to kick in, so this makes the SCAR L really good rifle for close range, but in mid and long range, you may need to follow a burst fire method to reduce the recoil. Moving on to the airdrop weapon, AUG A3 has the highest bullet speed or velocity of 937 meters per second, which makes this weapon really good for long range sprays or to hit a moving target. The recoil of the AUG A3 is pretty good, but it has some horizontal recoil which may interrupt your long range sprays, but this can be fixed with angle grip, here in the comparison we are using vertical grip. And now moving on to the QBZ which replaces SCAR L and Sandhawk. And the weapon handling is similar to the SCAR L and shares the same crazy amount of horizontal recoil, so yeah a QBZ is literally SCAR L and Sandhawk map. But with right attachments, you can easily handle this weapon, as always I would recommend using the angled grip to reduce the horizontal recoil. And now the G36C which replaces SCAR L and Vikendi map, but this weapon doesn't share any similarity like QBZ. This weapon recoil is literally almost straight lines, you can give very accurate sprays, but the only downside for this weapon is the bullets travel slower than the M416 which may affect your recoil while shooting at moving targets. And now M16A4 burst rifle, I couldn't draw the recoil for this, because the recoil depends on how fast you tap the fire button, so for all the burst rifles recoil pattern totally depends on how fast you tap your screen. So this is how all the spray patterns look when we compare them side by side, these sprays are without any attachments. AUG has the lowest recoil when compared to any other, and also it has the highest bullet velocity, which makes this weapon beast for long range sprays. But the downside is horizontal recoil which is unpredictable. Now moving on to the M416, it has decent vertical and horizontal recoil, and the handling is very easy, this makes the M416 overall best weapon choice in this comparison. And now the SCAR L due to the recent updates, SCAR L has been nerfed, now the recoil tends to pull a bit more to the sides, which will affect your long range sprays, and the bullet travels slower than M416 which is another downside for this weapon, so don't use SCAR-L unless you have no other options. QBZ is similar to SCAR-L, 
but the weapon handling is a little bit better than Scar L, so in Sanhok it's okay to use QBZ, but when you have opportunity to switch to M416, just take the chance and switch to M4. G36C is the only weapon which has the lowest horizontal recoil, and also it has the highest vertical recoil which is a big downside, but you can always predict the vertical recoil, horizontal is unpredictable, so you just need to pull down the gun more often than usual. And now the same comparison but with attachments. We are using same attachments for all the weapons which are compensator and vertical grip. As you can see with the right attachments your recoil will be reduced, and also it makes your weapon much better to handle. But you might be thinking what are the right attachments? Here are the attachments and what they can do to your weapon. Feel free to pause the screen and check each and every attachment, and now the overall best attachment for assault rifle would be a compensator and angled grip, anyway, this is my personal preference, you can use any attachment you like. But this brings us to the final question, which assault rifle is the best? I would say overall best assault rifle would be M416. There are many reasons why it is best, but I can give you 5 reasons. 1. This weapon is available on any map. 2. Easier to handle when compared to any other. 3. Reload speed is faster than any other assault rifle. 4. Has an extra attachment tactical stock. 5. It's everyone's favorite weapon due to the higher spawn rate. By the way, these results may change in upcoming updates of PUBG Mobile, but I will keep you updated once it gets changed. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. I hope you learned something new if you did hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. And comment down below what is your favorite weapon. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoy my bot gameplay. See you guys in the next one.
जाएगा पहले oh.